Actually, I started uh, early on to be very much interested in nature and science, and I had biology and chemistry as majors. The reason why I started cryo-electron microscopy is because originally I was interested in membrane proteins and we performed electron crystallography. And at this time, this was one of the major methods to study proteins in the natural membrane environment. Our biomedical research concentrates on muscle research and especially we are interested in how single molecules modulate heart contraction, which is then connected to heart disease. CryoM is a major part of my department and of the institute and a core technique is cryo-electron microscopy. In the last years, uh, we switched a part of our work, switched from single particle cryo-electron microscopy to cryo-electron tomography. The reason for it is that, is that we are, get more interested in how the proteins that we solve the structures of are interacting with other proteins inside the cell in the natural environment. CryoET will advance my research in the muscle field because it gives the power for us to investigate certain proteins that, were, that was not possible to be investigated previously with other techniques like single particle analysis or X-ray crystallography. So this is our dream in the end, that we are able to visualize how small molecules like drugs bind to the specific proteins inside the cell, in this case the sarcomere. This improvement definitely will help to accelerate the science itself because more people will realize that tomography is not a unique technique which can be used in one or two labs worldwide. This is a technique which can be applied by scientists who want to answer this basic biological question. Electron tomography it can not only be used for, the, for our muscle research, but of course you can imagine like septations uh, or segregation of chromosomes or all kind of uh, different cellular aspects that really happen inside the cell and that you cannot reconstitute easily. Electron tomography will be the key technique of the future. <laughs>